the years I've been experimenting a lot with my style and that's just because I've been wanting to find my personal style that's more authentic and comfortable with my personality and my lifestyle but I made a lot of mistakes along the way and trust me it's been a journey it's been fun also so in today's video I want to talk about style mistakes that I've made and how I got about fixing them so I'm going to be focusing on five different outfits and what I'm doing to tweak those to match my current style at the moment The first outfit that I definitely want to just refine and tweak is this leather joggers, all black base and I'm wearing ankle boots with it. I love this blazer so much but it didn't fit me properly. I was a little bit too, you know, my shoulders were shouldering so I couldn't even raise my arm properly but I hung on to it as much as I could because I really liked it. However, in this outfit, I really don't like the ankle boots. These are were from Zara and it was shiny and patent and I just felt like it threw the outfit off completely. But how I'll go about to reinvent this look is I've actually swapped out these leather joggers for some wide leg pair. These are just new in from River Island. I'll leave them in the description. And I just want to give the break I give a break to these leather joggers. I like the fact that it's wide leg so I can wear a lot more shoe options with these leather joggers. As much as I love them, they are very limited in terms of what I can add. And I feel like a wide leg would definitely balance out my proportion a bit, especially if I want to keep the top tighter, which I didn't. And just for that pop of colour, I've just added my cross shoulder bag from Uniqlo and I feel like I love the colour, it just adds like a pop. And obviously sunglasses these days and jewelry just to um to add those accessories but i actually really love my take on this outfit and how i've upgraded it anyways let's just move into the next outfit the next outfit is actually one that i wore fairly recent and i was actually going out for like brunch with my friends and i don't know why i wore this outfit because let me tell you i felt so uncomfortable the whole time at a glance there's nothing wrong with it it looks very chic i'm wearing checkered blazers all black base again which is clearly my signature at this point <laughs> but i just felt like there wasn't any definition going on and i hate the fact that i was so choked up at the top oh i really and i just looked so corporate core i didn't like the fact that i was i was it was too corporate and business for me to upgrade that i'll show you guys how i went about tweaking these on the other side i First of all, I'll swap out like the high neck top because I felt like I was too closed off. It was, there was no skin. It was just the proportion all wrong. So I would change that for maybe just a vest top because it was fairly warm that day. I did swap out the loafers. These are the chunky loafers from TK Max. Simply because I, I wore the other one to death and it died on me. <laughs> so when I take off the blazer, for me, I would definitely just add a cardigan. And the cardigan that I added is a bit more on the wider on the shoulder, a little bit more elevated in, in terms of the style. And a cardigan really takes away the corporate core. You know what I mean? I'm still playing around with like the... Um, the same skirt i've just added the belt and i've kept it with like i added a pop of color with the bag with a red bag and i just feel more just just feels more relaxed to me it doesn't feel like i'm trying too hard it doesn't feel like i'm off to like a work meeting because again it was a saturday and i still kept the skirt so it's still pretty playful and pretty fun um i know these skirt skirt skater tile skirts i don't know if they're in or not but i like them i feel like they're fun so this is how I will tweak that look here so you can see it. Speaking about uncomfortable, this is another outfit I wore fairly recent as well. And this was me styling. I'll show you two ways about how I go by styling them and upgrading them. I was actually going out for like a birthday, late birthday lunch. I went to, I think I was going to the Prada Cafe. And I really loved this top. It, it was giving me very vintage vibes. And I loved how it looked with the brown wide leg pants. However, when I stepped out, I was like, you know, there's certain outfits that's mirror ready, but when you actually go out, it, it just feels off. I did feel off in this outfit. So first thing I would do to style this and keep it very, very simple is just by switching out the, the trousers and I'll just go with a black high waist um, tapered uh, pants that I have in my wardrobe. These are from H&M. And I feel like the black is more high contrast and I feel like it matches the top a lot more. Um, footwear wise, I just added some ankle, ankle boots, but I think the boots could deal with a bit of work. 
but this is what I have in my closet now and I've just added a crossbody bag and some sunglasses I don't know I just feel like the that just swapping out the pants and the bag completely changes the look on the other side now how I'd also style this I would still keep these brown pants I'll add my famous vest top that I love so much because it adds to that retro vibe and I've just paired it with a turtleneck a brown turtleneck just to kind of go with like this sort of keeping it all in one tone keeping it very monotone and it looks a lot more chic and for boots I've kept the boots even flatter but I've added these sort of burgundy pointy toe boots and I just feel like they match the um they match the vest but they also match the colors I feel like browns burgundies all these sort of deep kind of maroon colors they go really 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 well and just to cut tie everything together i've added my baker boy hat because practicality because it's cold outside and also it is just to add a bit of personal style and i've kept the black crossbody bag and i feel like the black is a nice contrast along with brown i've black and brown they just really go really nicely together so i'm still keeping the same trousers but um oh i forgot i've also added my retro sunglasses oh the avia sunglasses i love these so these um I'm still very retro, still very relaxed. I don't feel like I'm trying too hard, you know what I mean? I can just walk around. The next outfit for me is one that's definitely in line with my personal style. I absolutely love a maxi midi or dress and I've loved adding a belt and I've loved wearing with boots. This is definitely an outfit formula that I wear on repeat and I have been for years when I think about it and the reason why this look was off is because i felt a bit too stifled i felt like there was a lot going on also the jacket wasn't the, wasn't appropriate it wasn't the right one it cut off at a weird angle and yeah it was it was just too much too much was going on it wasn't simple and laid back and i just oh i felt like i i even feel so claustrophobic even looking at this photo However, I did love that dress. I don't have it anymore. So how I go about still upgrading this look is still going with like a maxi dress. This is a blue midi dress that I've featured in my videos from Marks and Spencers quite a few times. I actually love it. It's still a printed dress, so it's very, very similar. And in keeping everything the same, I like the white boots or cream boots with dresses. I love how that looks. So I will still add my pointy toe boots from NAKD. These are really, really um, fun, especially on the like um, dresses, skirts and stuff like that. I think the major change for me would be getting a the jacket. Honestly, outerwear can really make or break your look. So I'll definitely swap out the jacket. Even if it wasn't this jacket, I would make sure I have like a, maybe a black long coat. That's in line with the dress because if not, it cuts you off at a weird point and gives you, doesn't show any shape. So I would either add a black belt. I'll show you two ways how, how I'll add outerwear. I can add a cropped jacket you know, with the belt showing because it defines your waist, or I can just add a longer jacket um, that's in line with the length of the dress because I'm focusing on proportions and how things are looking and dimension. So I think that would really be a major change. And for the turtleneck, I would just forgo the turtleneck. I just don't think it works. Um, especially the type of turtleneck I was wearing, it just was off. So if I wanted to cover up, I'll just add a scarf, a lovely scarf on top. And just even looking at the second outfit here that I'm styling with like the, um, the checkered jacket from Primark and the skirt and how the colors tie in. I just feel like it's a lot more refined and chic and I don't always need to match my bag to my shoes. Um, I'm a matchy matchy girl. I love matchy matchy. <laughs> But I don't need to, so I've just added my metallic bag and it doesn't match the shoes. It's just on its own. The next outfit for me is one of my favorite outfit formulas. It's just black and white and then added a pop of color. You can see right here now. <laughs> I've got a black and white and a pop of color with the lip. So it's just an outfit formula that I absolutely love. However, in this fit, I didn't like the proportions. I am five foot seven and I feel like a longer midi skirt looks I feel like it's a bit more flattering for me. It's a bit more modern as well and up to date. I feel like if you're shorter, I feel like this skirt is better, but I don't know. Personal preference, I suppose. This top though, oh, 
I really did not like how it fit. I feel like it was just too, oh, it was too stuffy. I hated the shoulder. I didn't find it very flattering at all. In keeping with the exact same outfit, I would update this by again changing the skirt and instead of like this um, stuffy top, I'll just add my satin shirt from H&M and I'll just tie it at the waist and I feel like the V-neck is really, really flattering keep the jewelry very simple and I've just added some ankle boots and these are old ones from I sort first they're in the same color family as cream but they're not quite the same and I've just added a pop of color with a red bag and this is if I was actually going out I would actually just change this look up this way however for a day-to-day -day basis I love a good like edgy chic look. I would still keep this the longer satin mini skirt. I've added a tank top, an oversized white shirt because who doesn't love an oversized white shirt? Chunky boots for that edgy factor but practicality and functional practical again with my hat, my Baker Boy hat. And I feel like it just adds a bit of, you know, a pop. And I'll also add my green bag for a pop of colour because again it's still the same look just a pop of colour but I just love the fit I feel like it's more relaxed it's more casual it's just more me and then if I want to add a jacket I can add my uh, sort of shiny fur coat on top for um for warmth but this is how I would actually upgrade this look and I just feel like it's definitely a lot more in line with my style right now because I'm focusing on the puff portions and I'm focusing on the cut as well of certain items and making sure it's a bit more relaxed and not too you know not too tight and not too claustrophobic fitting 